Welcome mates, I'm Bloodthirsty Lord, but you can come with Lordy and Teo back on Hunt Showdown discussing Update 2.2 and also having some gameplay of Update 2.2 on my channel in this very same video. The major highlights of this actual patch are three new weapon variants, three new consumables, four new traits and a new tool. And they've also changed the summary screen and also how the looting mechanic does work against hunters. Let's discuss about the new weapons. The Nagant 1895 Officer, double action revolver variant with faster rate of fire, but lower accuracy, which fits into small weapon slot. Explosive crossbow, crossbow variation that uses explosive bolts that trigger on impact it is not possible to collect back the bolts from it, like the poison hambo. Exact same aspect there with the crossbow and how the bolts actually work. Winfield M1873 Aperture. The variant of the 50 round Winfield attached with a peephole sight, the same sight as a Nitro Express rifle. This offers a larger zoom compared to the iron sight variant at the cost of a blurry vision around the actual peephole. And now let's move on to the three new consumables that will be in the game. Sticky Bomb. Throwable explosive that sticks to most surfaces, excluding metal and concrete. It's armed with an 8 second fuse, they let your curiosity kill you. Chaos Bomb, a sticky throwable with an 8 second fuse, fires blank shot stimulating a gunfight, a great tool to distract both enemy hunters and AI. Hellfire Bomb, a variant of a fire bomb with a focused large blast radius. Now for a few seconds, you can let all hell loose. And now let's move on to the new tool. Blank Fire Decoys, a tool which can be used to fake a random gunshot, it can mean life or death in a sticky situation. And now let's discuss the four new traits or perks. First one being Pitcher, increased throwing range of all throwables. This only includes throwables which use the blue aim helper, not including throw knives or tomahawk, etc. The second trait is Conduit, heals 50 health points after interacting with a clue, does not give back lost health bars. The third perk is Gator Legs, spin at full speed for longer duration when in water. The fourth perk is Decoy Supply, the ability to resupply decoys including blank fires from ammo boxes. The looting mechanic has also changed against hunters. Looting dead hunters now has the possibility to restock a tool or to grant some cash. The various chances are as follows, 40% chance to find ammo, 20% chance to refill a random tool, 20% chance to restock a random consumable, 5% chance to find $100, 1% chance to find $200, 1% chance to find $500. If I find $500, I'm just going to run out of there straight away. In addition, there was a change to the meta overall within Hunt Showdown and also in Update 2.2, there's also been a new patch, patch 1, and there's also changed some of the meta there as well. So expect when this actually hits the live servers for little changes in numbers here and there, for balances, nerf, and buffs in general. And now let's jump into the actual gameplay of Update 2.2, live commentary style, right now. Hey dude. You got a mic? What's up man? How you doing? Alright. That's good. I might be lagging because I'm from Australia, and it's like super late, and I couldn't find any OC lobbies in the test server. Since it doesn't exist. Yeah, that's cool. You better carry me, man. Yeah, well, I mean, I try, but I'm not the best, man. I believe in you, man. You can do this. <laughs> uh, welcome, mates. I'm Bloodthirsty Lord, Bank Coming Lordy, and Terror playing in the test server of Han Showdown. I might be lagging, but we've got the new content in our hands, boys, from update 2.2 for Han Showdown, and it's pretty sick. Hopefully, my loader comes up on the screen. We got the new crossbow, the new secondary, uh, blank fire decoys, sticky bomb, hellfire bomb. Just pretty lit, you know? Seems like it's gonna be a fun one. That's what I hope for these videos, to be fun. I was checking the spawn, but I didn't see anyone there, so. I'm gonna go straight to the clue, get the clue, and then move on. You can't side run anymore? Oh, you can, you have to side run with forward, okay. Because you used to be able to strafe and run at the same time. Which still kind of works, but you have to move forward either way. Oh, the lag is real. It is so real. 255 ping, as you see from the top right corner. The FPS is pretty good. <laughs> my fog is stuffing up. Oh my god. See flashes of white light. I'm just running through here like I don't care because honestly, with this lag, I can't play seriously. I'm really excited for this patch as well. Like when it goes into the live service, it should be really fun. Even though I'm running around trying to sprint through these things, I'm just trying to get to these objectives as quickly as possible to use these weapons. Or find some people. Like, I really don't care for the PvE side right now. So that's our second clue down. And we're gonna try to go for some other clues. Most likely the last clue, and then go to this one target boss. Which I'm pretty sure someone found at docks. Oh, Hellhounds against lag. Nah, nah, nah. I ain't about that life. I'll be honest. What happens if you use a blank fire decoy? Chuck it down there. Will the dogs react to it? Uh... 
Decoys don't work on them. I'm pretty sure it's a docks. You want to go there? Yeah, all right. Let's do it. Gun blazing. I want to have people in US play. So I remember playing on these servers at the very start. So I know about this lag. I've experienced it before. But when OC servers came up, I'm straight onto that. And I've been on that for a while now. I don't see any of them. They're camping in the building. Which sucks for us. Mates, at a stage like this, when there's only one objective and it's directly in the middle of the map, if a team had one clue, no clues, or two clues, they know where it is now. You can see the banishing thing icon happen on the middle of the map, and it's in the middle. So everyone's going to run straight there. There's going to be multiple teams in this fight for sure, which is going to be really difficult to deal with. And since with the test server or the public testing realm of this game, it's set to rank 100, I'm guessing people are using in-game weapons. I'm hoping they're not, and they may be using the new weapons because it'll make it kind of fun. That's, that's what we're trying to do, use the new weapons to see how good they actually are before they do come to life. They might get nerfed, buffed, or balanced. I don't know. Why is this running here? I want to see if this guy knows where it is. What the hell is he doing? That was the weirdest zombie interaction I've ever seen. The way it moved and everything. That's freaky. Let's try this sticky bomb inside there and see if it does anything. Oh, the range is so decreased. Tick, do damage, do something. Wow, there's such a delay. I'm hoping that's just the lag part of the game. over there. I'm gonna try and toy these guys. Man, it's tough playing like this. Wait, I still got another sticky bomb? Wait, do my sticky bomb... Wait. Huh? What, what is going on? I can't chuck this though. That's really weird. I can't land a single shot on these guys. Try to use this pistol now. I did it. Well, in northeast on the second staircase, don't shoot the barrel. Do not shoot the barrel. Please don't be smart. Please don't be smart. Oh my god, man, this pistol is pretty sick. It's got a mad fire rate on it. Big fan of that already. Check one of the decoys. I'm a beast! 300 ping, kill them both! GG in the chat! Yeah, good, it's awesome, man. Thank you, man. Pick up the bounty, it's all yours. The Hellfire bombs are pretty dope. And they do a lot of work. I understand what they're trying to do with this game, and I think it's heading a really good direction. So pretty much with everything in this update, I think it's actually really awesome. Now, the explosive arrow sucks that there's only five, or was it six, I'm not sure how many. This pistol, it's gonna be a pretty good low tier item due to the fire rate, it's pretty good. Compared to having some other pistols at that stage of the game. Get out of here, man. Dogs. The dogs. But if I had to use this weapon in the life server, I will 100% use it. The explosive arrow, 100% use it. These blank fire decoys are really cool. Like, the idea is awesome. So you chuck a decoy, lands, and it acts as a, as a gunshot. And you can use it as a way to trick players. Oh 
crap, I better run. And run in the water. Heal up for a second. Let's go save our teammate. Sucks that we just got wrecked by uh, dogs just then. That was my fault. I used the decoy. So it's tracked to them. But I was just trying to highlight it. So it doesn't matter. And this is the test over. So I'll go pick him up. And hopefully he's alright. Easy revive done. Sorry about that. Like, goddamn dogs. Yeah, I know. There was a pack of them. Four of them. It's kind of hard. The sticky bomb, I think it's going to be interesting to use. I don't see it being as effective as a dynamite. It just depends on the new range um, of throwable items because that's introduced now. A certain perk that can actually help you throw items back to normal. I think that's called the pitcher. But if the sticky bomb has full distance throws, it'll be good compared to the diamond that has been reduced on its uh, throw distance. So I'm really intrigued by the way they're taking the game. So I feel like it's fun. Like, I don't hate this update at all. Like, majority of the updates that have been happening to this game have been pretty good. But I really like the Hellfire Bomb, like, so much. Seems too fun. And the Gator Legs, if I go in the water, I can run at fast speed or a decent speed. I can run faster compared to my teammate. If I'll turn around and look back at my teammate, three, two, one, I'm ready here. He's still like a little bit behind. Just a little bit of speed increase in the water, which is kind of good. Because in situations when you're stuck in the lake area, towards pitching and healing water, that massive river, it obviously does help out a lot. About to head off to the extraction point, so this should be kind of good for us. Somebody there. Oh, that was me. Never mind. <laughs> I was chucking the decoys. Have you seen these? Chuck a deco on the floor and does like gun noise. See? Yeah, they're pretty yeah. cool. It's awesome, man. A whole bunch of deception into the game now. No longer a stealth game. Key bomb, yeah, not that fun. Man. Yeah, GG, man. It was I don't play with you. I'm trying to think of what else to use. Like, I'm pretty sure that's all. Like, they have the new Winfield. It just pretty much has enhanced uh, sight on it. Obviously, the two weapons we just used, those are the two latest weapons in the game. The new consumables, we used them. The new throwables, which were the blank fire decoys. There's one more, I think, grenade type. And I think that's called the Chaos Grenade. Essentially, it's a shorthand grenade that you can chuck. And it creates like a whole bunch of blank fire decoys. Pretty much creating the use of a gunfight occurring through the grenade. So you chuck it, sounds like a gunfight's happening. That's pretty much a major decoy. You can use it as a bait or use that to run away and then move on to whatever you need to do. You know, it's not for the PvE side for it, unless you want to bait someone that they think you're doing the butcher early game or something like that. You can use that. I don't know. Or you're trying to have a fight. Oh, this is also new. Tells about all your contracts and stuff. So they've changed that up so it looks more fresh. Which is pretty sick. Big fan of that. Show mission details. Oh, it even shows you the clues. There's certain events, like what I did during the game. Obviously, the explosive barrow and arrow. I wish you can have more shots because after you shoot them, you can't really pick them up because they're explosive arrows. It's like the poison um, hambo. It's the exact same idea there. But it's nice damage. 9-4 damage. If you hit that on impact, oh my god. Guaranteed easy kill. But mates, as always, tell me your opinions and thoughts in the comment section down below about this video. Do you want to see more videos on the test server? Do you want to see more videos about Hunt Showdown? I need to know in the comment section down below. And if you mates did enjoy this video, show us for a session that button like button. We're aiming for 200 likes on this video. We'd be greatly appreciated if you do achieve that goal. If you mates want to see more Hunt Showdown gaming content on my channel, all you have to do is share with your friends and hit the subscribe button to become a mate today. And that is all this video. I will tell them to you, but don't you worry. Back very soon. Hang dance, boys, because you ain't seen nothing yet. Mates, I am waiting for the day to introduce a character who can have dual daggers. One to stab, one to throw. That'd be awesome. I need that to happen in the game. Because we can hit that overpower status quite easily. You know me. Kalari days. Coming to Hunt Showdown. Lol. <laughs>